Hey everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, as you can see from the title, I am doing a AliExpress haul. But before I get started, I just wanted to say something real fast. Yes, I am wearing a wig. No, that does not mean that I hate being bald and that I am ashamed of being bald. Just wanted to say that from the beginning. People can't comprehend that. I just like to wear wigs as well. It doesn't mean I don't like myself being bald. All right. Let, let's go, let's move on from there. So if you guys don't know what AliExpress is, it's basically a website app that is similar to Wish, if you've ever heard of Wish before. It's very, very cheap product that comes from China. All of my things came from China, at least. I don't know if there's like other areas as well. The stuff is either a hit or miss. You either get something that is really nice quality and super cute, or you get something that's like really meme worthy. And I just think it's really funny. I love watching Wish and AliExpress videos because you never really know what you're gonna get because everything is so cheap. About two to three weeks ago, I ordered about 10 items from AliExpress to do a haul video. I have gotten nine out of those 10 items. The 10th item shipped a couple days ago and I ordered it three weeks ago. So I didn't wanna wait for that one item to come. But when I do finally get it in the mail, I will post pictures of it on my Instagram story. I will post that item if you guys wanna check out my Instagram whenever that decides to come in. Yeah, I ordered 10 items. I received nine of them. Most of them are clothing and accessory related. There is one thing that is not a clothing item. And basically I'm just going to show you what I got. We're gonna try it on and see if the quality is nice and if I think it is worth the money. So I have two very different aesthetics. I either wear all black or I wear really bright pastel colors. There's never like an in-between really. I'm always wearing really dark or really light. I can never decide what I want to wear, but pastel goth is like my favorite type of style and aesthetic. I really like like black with pastel colors. I think they really pop and it's really pretty. So a lot of these items I typed in the search bar pastel goth clothing and these are the types of things that popped up and I bought them because I thought they were really cute. So I don't remember the exact prices I paid for them but I will tell you the prices that they are currently on AliExpress's website because a lot of their items do change in price every once in a while. So I'm going to show you the non-clothing item first. And it's actually something that I am sitting on and it is something that I did a TikTok on. Um, I will have my TikTok down below if you guys are interested in checking it out. I saw this on TikTok and that's the reason why I'm doing this AliExpress haul to begin with because I saw it and I loved how it looked and I needed it, so I got it. So I'm currently sitting on it because it is a seat cover for my seat. It is this cat paw. It is really amazing quality. Let me back up a little bit so you guys can see it. It's this huge cushion for your seat and I have really cheap gaming chairs. I don't like spending a lot of money on chairs to be honest. And this adds so much cushion while I'm streaming in my office that I am obsessed with it. It's almost too cushioned. Like it, it's gotten to the point where I almost am falling out of my seat because it is so padded. So sometimes I actually turn it this way and this part I put on the back since it's not as cushioned, so I can scoot all the way back inside of my seat. But it came in a bunch of different colors and I got pink to match my office. So this was $20.61, which I think is a really great deal. It's called the Cute Cat Paw Back Pillows, Plush Chair Cushion Animal Child Seat Cushion Sofa Mat Home. Sofa Indoor Floor Winter Decor Gift. It comes in white, pink, blue, and like this grayish brown color. And this came in about two weeks, so it didn't take very long at all. I've used it every day since getting it, and it's really great if you have really cheap gaming chairs that don't have much cushion. So I 100% think this cushion is worth the money out of all of the things that I got. I like this thing the most. So I will have links down below for every single one of these items. So here are all of the little bags of the stuff that I got. A lot of these items I already opened because I wanted to make sure I got the right product to confirm it on AliExpress because I wanted to keep track of all the things I got. So I have opened these, but I haven't tried them on or really looked at them much. So the first thing right here, as you can see, like I said, I've taken it out already. It was stuffed in this little tiny, tiny bag. So this next item is super cheap. Um, <laughs> This is a t-shirt woman turtleneck fruit embroidery long sleeve t-shirts, Harajuku casual kawaii candy colored tops. So this comes in white, purple, pink, and blue. I got white because I don't know, I just really like the white one. And and here is what it looks like. So 
the front here, we have this little like kawaii cute little peach. And this is a turtleneck, what it looks like. It is super, super cheap quality. Like it almost feels like craft felt. It is so cheap. I feel like one wash and this thing will completely fall apart. So keep in mind, sizing on these cheap websites is pretty hard because obviously a extra large in Chinese fashion is a lot smaller than an American extra large because I just feel like people in China are just so freaking tiny and people in America are not. Let's just be real here. Um, I think I got this in an extra large. Yeah, I got this in an extra large. It was $9.59. So yeah, here is what it looks like. I'm really sad because I ordered some of these items when it was still cold outside and now it's Georgia. So it is almost 80 degrees every single day outside now. So yeah, here is what's supposedly supposed to be an extra large and normally an extra large I don't wear in America because it's too big, but we'll see what it looks like. I do think it's cute. I I do think it looks like the picture. I just think the quality of the fabric that they used is very poor. It's definitely see-through. So if you wore a colorful bra or something, you would definitely be able to see through it. But for it being $10, I mean, I guess you can't really complain because $10 for a turtleneck is super cheap. This would be cute as like something that you layer under something else where the collar just pops out because you have that cute little detail right there. So next we have another t-shirt. This was the first item that came in. I believe this one came in in about a week and a half, which is really great. Came in this little bag. It is a t-shirt. So it's a little graphic t-shirt. This is a Totoro Studio Ghibli t-shirt. Female Kawaii Harajuku. Harajuku. Oh my gosh. And it came in 24 different colors of styles. Um, so I just got the one that I like the most. As many of you guys know, Studio Ghibli is one of my favorite type of franchises when it comes to movies. I just love them so much. They're so cozy. I, I literally am obsessed with them. I had to get one. So this one is very pastel, cute, kawaii themed for sure. The quality of this t-shirt is horrible. I feel like this will be a good t-shirt for me to wear like while I'm learning to skate and stuff like that. And stay tuned for that. By the way, guys, if you don't follow me on social media, I actually ordered roller skates and a skateboard and I'm gonna teach myself how to skate. So those are, that's probably gonna be the next video. Here is the t-shirt. It's actually very flowy, um, which is nice. I like the thin material for summer, of course, because you won't get super hot. It's kind of like a silk material, but here is the turtleneck. As you can see, it's just really cheaply made, but this shirt was super cheap. This shirt was $4.41. So I feel like I can't really complain about it because for the price, it's actually not that bad. And I got this in an extra large as well. You guys would like to kind of have an idea of how much I weigh and height and everything. I am 5'6 and I weigh 157 pounds. And I got an extra large in all of these. So here is the print. We have Totoro with some soot sprites and no face. And little Gigi is back there as well. The printing is not the best. I mean, you can see that it's printed on pretty lightly, but for the price, I think it's perfect. I think it's gonna actually fit me perfectly. So I am kind of loving this. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm kind of scared to wash these shirts though. All right, next we have this package right here. This one also only took about a week and a half to get here. It was one of the fastest things that came. So this is a t-shirt, cute gothic tops, vintage strawberry milk t-shirt, women's summer clothes, t-shirt grunge. It was $4.95 and I got an extra large. So this is pretty much the same exact material as the last t-shirt I showed you. This one seems a little bit thicker and better quality. Oh my gosh, look how cute it is. So these are just like little drinks. I love this art style. I love art styles where people turn drinks and food into something really cute. I actually have a couple things in my Etsy shop that are similar to this and it's really cute. I hope they're not stealing art from somebody else and reselling this because that would make me really sad. Um, they probably are. Unfortunately, a lot of these AliExpress and Wish items are just stealing art from actual people. So yeah, keep that in mind. But yeah, this definitely looks like it is going to fit me. It's pretty thin, but kind of a silky thick material. Very stretchy, very see-through. And the printing on this t-shirt is way nicer than the other t-shirt. As you can see, it's printed on actually pretty well. So I have nothing to complain about this shirt other than it feels a little cheap, but it was $5, so it was cheap. And I love this. 
think it is so freaking cute. Next, we have another t-shirt here. I mainly got t-shirts because that is mainly what I wear anyway. Um, I don't really wear a lot of like really cute items. This was the only kawaii type item I had in my closet. That's why I am wearing it. So I do really love Sailor Moon. It's something that I watched growing up and I really loved it. I do want to rewatch it now that I'm an adult, <laughs> but I love the aesthetic of Sailor Moon. I think it is so pretty. So this is the cute Sailor Moon anime funny cartoon t-shirt. I paid $4.73 and once again, I got an extra large. So I actually, fun fact, don't own any pink shirts at all. Um, when I was color coding my closet, I literally had no pink. I have uh, quite a few purples, but no pinks. So I'm excited to have something pink to add to my clothing collection because I don't have pink and I love the color pink. So here it is. Oh my god, wait, I love this. So it's a little bit shorter. It looks like it's supposed to be kind of a type of crop top. The other ones were long. This one is a little bit short. Um, it's still long enough, you know, to wear as not a crop top for me. But if you want to wear it as a crop top, you can maybe actually size down on this shirt because it is pretty flowy and baggy and it looks like it's supposed to be some type of crop top. It's the same cheap, like silky material, very stretchy and see-through. And the printing on this one is not that bad, actually. Um, it's a little light. And there's a little, there's little areas that are not as dark as they should be, but um, I'm obsessed. I'm literally obsessed with this shirt. So freaking cute and so cheap. I mean, I literally feel like I can't complain about these t-shirts at all because they're so cheap. All right, now we have one more t-shirt and then I have a jacket and some other little accessories to show you. So this next t-shirt is a cute cartoon sweet girls t-shirt, Japanese streetwear, streetwear, Harajuku, pink, kawaii, casual top. This is kind of similar to the Sailor Moon one, but it's just kind of like a little girl chibi character. I paid $4.27 and once again, I got an extra large. It came with a little rubber band. Too bad I don't have any hair to use this, but I could use it with my wigs, which is really cute. I like that. Put it on my wrist. You could also just wear it as like a little accessory if you wanted to. That's so cute. This one is such nicer quality than all the other t-shirts. What the heck? This is thick. Okay, wow. I feel like this one is actually American sizing because this extra large is so much bigger than all of the other extra larges I've showed you. This is an extra large in like male sizes in America. So I probably could have gotten a medium or large and this would have fit me perfectly. This is the best quality shirt out of all of them. Oh my God, this is such great quality. It's pretty thick compared to the other ones. It's still that silky material, but it is super thick and it's actually pretty heavy material as well. Like it weighs down a lot. I feel like you would get kind of hot in this outside. And the printing is so dark and pigmented. It literally looks like it could be worth 15 to $20, this t-shirt. And I paid $4, are you kidding me? And this is like a really pretty pink as well. This is like, a, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a baby pink color. It's almost like a peach. I probably, one of my new favorite shirts now, this one feels like it's not gonna get destroyed when I wash it. And that's why I really like it. So out of all of the t-shirts I've showed you, this is the one that I recommend the most quality wise because I'm pretty obsessed with this. All right, so next we have a jacket and I've already taken it out of the packaging because I have already worn it. And I've actually worn it on a Twitch stream. So if you watch me on Twitch, then you've already seen it. This was the most expensive item out of all of the things that I bought. Unfortunately, it's too hot now to wear it, so I've got to wait till next year to wear it, but that, that's okay. Um, this was the Harajuku Kawaii Rabbit Ear Sweatshirt. It comes in black and white, and of course I got black because I got it in an extra large. It was $20.70, and for a jacket, that's super cheap, so I'm obsessed with it. I love it. So here is what it looks like, if I can figure it out. So it's just this black jacket, right? I mean, it's like this really nice thick fleece. It's so thick. It keeps you so warm. I honestly, I, I get too hot in it. It's so warm. I don't know if you can see the material really. It has these little puff balls on the side that are what you can use to tighten the hood. And these are really nice quality. The zipper is a little cheap. I mean, it's just a zipper. And what I like about this is when you zip it up, it almost looks like a little dress. Um, If you just wear leggings with it or something, it is really cute. It kind of like flares out at the bottom. The thing I love most is the hood because it has little bunny ears on it. And I live for hoods that have like little cat ears or bunny ears on it. I just think it is so freaking cute. So yeah, we have little bunny ears. It makes the hoodie really heavy though. Like when it is on your head, it's really heavy. But if you're bald like me, it keeps your head very warm. But when it's hanging down, your jacket kind of 
pulls backwards a little bit because it is heavy in the back. So just keep that in mind. But for the price, I think this is amazing. Um, it's the best quality out of all of the things I've shown you clothing wise, even that last t-shirt. And I 100% think it is worth the money. I think the white one is really cute as well. I love this jacket. I wish it was cold enough for me to wear it, but I'm also happy that it's not cold anymore because my seasonal depression is getting better. <laughs> so lastly, I have two little bags full of like little accessories. All right, so this next thing is like a little cute choker. It actually came in the mail yesterday. So it took about three weeks to get here. This is the Harajuku Gothic Lace Choker Necklace. This was $4.44, so the same price as a t-shirt. And I got it in black. Here is what it looks like. So it is pretty great quality. I mean, I feel like it would definitely be a little itchy on your neck for sure, but it has a little heart in the middle with this nice lacy black material. It is kind of itchy. There's little bows and then this cute little plastic charm hanging down. But for the price, I think this is absolutely stunning. I don't know what I'm gonna wear it with, but I'm gonna wear it because it's so freaking cute. I'm trying to, to wear more unique outfits instead of just wearing like t-shirts because I really like when people wear just like really out of the box outfits that somehow go really cute together. I, I can't quite get there because I don't have an imagination imagination for clothing. This is my first step to getting there. <laughs> so yeah, this is really cute. I think it's worth the money. It seems a little small though. Yeah, so I don't have it tightened down and it is pretty tight even with it being stretched. So if you have a bigger neck than me, I probably wouldn't buy this. It's pretty tight, <laughs> but it is a choker. So I guess it's doing what it's called. And then lastly, we have two little like accessory type things. I don't even know what you would even call these. Yeah, so they're like harnesses, I guess. I really love the style of like, t-shirt with a harness on top of it. I think it's so cute. So I got two of them. They're the same company. One is pink, one is black. So I'll show you the black ones first. These are two piece leg flowers garters. So these are little garters for your legs. Um, I really like garters. I have a pair of pink ones with like little spikes on them. And these were $5.30 and these are considered one size fits all, which we know is definitely not true. Everybody has different size legs. So these are pretty cheap feeling, but let me tell you, they're pretty dang cute. So here is what it looks like. It is this stretchy black material. It's pretty thick material as well. So it doesn't seem like it's gonna break, but I couldn't tell you if these are gonna fit my thighs. These are probably gonna squeeze the crap out of my thighs. And it has like a little heart with some spikes and some pink roses. And then obviously the little thing to hang on to your socks. You're wearing like pantyhose or socks. But these are pretty cheap for what they are. If you look up garters on like Amazon and stuff, they're like $20. So these are pretty cheap. So I really like the colors, obviously. We've got the pink and black, which I've said before, is just kind of one of my favorite things, favorite colors schemes. And I like the little spikes as well, but I have no idea if these are going to fit my thighs. I doubt they will. They're probably going to squeeze them. So if you have bigger thighs than me, you might not want to get these. Um, I don't have super small thighs, but I don't have huge ones either, really. My thighs are kind of just in the middle, I guess. I, I hate saying average because there's not an average person. Everybody's different. So yeah, I don't know. And then lastly, I got these original design pink collar bow harnesses, and it's for the chest and it's pastel gothic themed. Um, it was a one size fits all as well. It basically goes around your chest, I believe. I've never actually worn any of these before. So I think this is like where it goes around your boobs, of course. So it has these cute little bows. The quality of the like elastic is pretty nice, very stretchy. Doesn't seem like it'll break very easily. Everything attaches together just by little clasps like this. So it could be very easy to come apart. Yeah, that's the first part. And I got another little one and I don't know what this is. Okay, so I I think this is a necklace. According to the pictures, this looks like a necklace. So you put it around your neck like this. It has like a little hook. Um, If you want somebody to like walk you like a dog or something like that, you know, some people are into that stuff. So it's there if you want it. Um, But that's what this is for. It's just stretchy, pretty stretchy. It could definitely stretch around many different neck sizes. Um, I paid $8.99 for the pink colored harness, which is more expensive than all the other things, but it came with two items. And then the black ones was $5.30. I think I've already said that. So that was all of the things that I got. Like I said, there's one more thing that I've ordered that shipped way later than everything else. It was $3.82 and it is this black pastel goth 
shirt. It was the only thing I got that was black. So I'm kind of sad that it didn't show up in time for this video. But like I said, I will post it on my story, um, what it looks like when I do eventually get it because it was the cheapest shirt out of all of them. So I have a feeling it's gonna have that cheap quality like everything else. So yeah, that was my AliExpress haul. I'm pretty happy with everything that I got. I mean, yeah, it's a little cheap in quality, but for the price, I think it's 100% worth it. <laughs> like honestly, if you wanna see me do any more videos from AliExpress, then definitely let me know because I do want to try out different clothing and stuff like that, or if there's any other websites you want me to try. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out all of my social medias down below and also all of my other channels. This is editing me coming in to say something really fast because I forgot to put it in the video. But I am doing a new thing with my patrons on Discord where if they support me on Patreon, then I will shout out any social media or business that they have. So if you guys would like to join my Patreon and be in my Discord, I will have that link down below as well. And and the shout out for today's video is on the screen right here. If you, if you guys could do me a huge favor and go over to their social media and give them a follow and support and support small creators and businesses, I would really appreciate it. So check out the person that is on the screen. Thanks guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.